that where Brian McEntee's, where Brian McEntee's uh, butcher shop was occupied once by, uh, by, an or, by an ORIC personnel. We don't know whether they actually owned it or whether they actually rented it or not, but it was occupied by all people from the ORIC. This was the ORIC barracks, the Royal Irish Constabulary. And they were formerly known as the Irish Constabulary, and then they became the Royal Irish Constabulary. And um, they had, um, they were here until the, um, at, le at least we think about 1917 or 18 or 19. We're not sure when they, when they, when they closed. Uh, we were very lucky. Vincey Barclay, this is the Barclay home. Vincey Barclay, who is now unfortunately deceased, he gave me a day book which records the life in the village between 1851 and 1854, and I translated it, and it's in, in the book. And it, 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 it goes through a lot of the crimes that, were, that happened in the village at the time. And they were fairly harmless, they weren't too, they weren't too, uh, they weren't too, uh. and it was owned by a Miss Mitchell, uh, without getting into religion, she was the only Methodist that I could see that lived around the village from the 1821 census. Uh, Hickeys, where Hickeys lived, there were three houses there. There was um, the McGowan family lived there, the uh, the kings who the, who were the the, the Browns Michael Michael Brown's father-in-law's people, and uh, we're not sure. We think there was a Maguire. There were three houses. The Maguires, uh, there was also a Maguire family that lived there as well, and they were just along there. Now across here was what they call Terence Smith's yard, and uh, uh, Terence Smith's yard. Uh, every Christmas there was a turkey market held here uh, up until the 1920s. I don't know what when they stopped. And uh, uh, they used to, uh, uh, that, that was used over there, that, that, that yard was used as a, as a place for assembling and probably uh, displaying the, 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 the fowl. And um, there was a big raid in the Phoenix Park in 1939. A lot of guns and explosives were taken from the Phoenix Park by the IRA at the time. And there was a massive uh, nationwide hunt for all these guns. And the army set a camp up in that yard there in 1939. And they spent the whole winter in what was supposed to be a very, very severe winter. And they had checkpoints on the street, they had checkpoints down, down uh, the roads of Tomsilla and Orney and all around Derry Hing. It was a very serious uh, matter. And a whole lot of Republicans were, were rounded up at the time. And uh, so, uh, let me see now. Yeah, where Sheridan's home is, now, that, 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 was, a, that was a partisan schoolhouse. That's for, beside Brian McAleese. There was a Protestant schoolhouse there. Kathleen Duffy, I remember that. She told me that before she died. I don't know when it was open or when it was closed. Uh, uh, Eugene Wilson tells me that there was a bakery also in, uh, in that house at one time. That Frank Gillen, who used to, uh, used to walk on the railways, told him that there was a bakery in Sheridan's at one time. And also, where our house, where these three houses are across the road here, these were three single story houses. And he said there was a bakery located in one of those houses as well. So, um, let me see, yeah. About the RIC barracks, uh, there, were, there, were, there were barracks all over the place. There were in Farnham and Crestoni and Milton and all over the place. And as I mentioned earlier, there was uh, uh, a lot of people uh, making their own liquor. And uh, uh, a lot of crime, the biggest crime was people being unruly on the street. And just a quote from one of the lines in the book was, nine were held in custody overnight for being drunk and disorderly. Each were fined two and six next day before Abraham Brush, JP, or four hours in jail. And uh, so they had room to keep nine of them overnight. <laughs> it's a good job to run around. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me see now. We should go all up here now, yeah.